Hi, this morning I'm gonna be making chicken with the crumbs. This is one of the recipes I've made more than any other in my entire life. When my son Benji was little, I have to say this was his favorite recipe. My son Danny liked it and my daughter Randy didn't like it too much. Now that my kids are grown, I'm making this recipe for my grandkids and they're enjoying it. So the first thing you do is just pour some cornflakes crumbs. This is the brand that I usually buy, Kellogg's Cornflake Crumbs, in some sort of a pan or, or bowl. You need to pour enough in. I'm making about a pound of chicken cutlets, so I need a lot of the cornflakes crumbs. Pouring a bunch in. So this is so easy. All you have to do is pour some oil. Right now I'm using corn oil, but I could use safflower oil, canola oil. When I was growing up, my mother used this brand, Mazzola corn oil, for any of her cooking. And I still like to use it today. I buy thin cutlets, thin chicken cutlets, because to me and to my kids, the thinner the cutlets, the better. Put the chicken cutlets into the oil. This is how you achieve, this recipe helps you achieve fried cutlets without frying on top of the stove. Most of my recipes, I dip my chicken cutlets into a mixture, into uh, egg first, and then into the breadcrumbs. But for this recipe, I just put the cutlets into oil and that gives them all the fat that they need when they're cooking in the oven. Okay, so we're just gonna put the rest of these in. I buy my chicken cutlets from one place, one supermarket in Princeton called McCaffrey's because their cutlets are the best. They're extremely thin, so you don't have to pound them. You don't have to put any additional work into the job to achieve your thin cutlets. I'm gonna line my half sheet tray with heavy duty aluminum foil. This minimizes the mess that you have when you're done. You can just fold up the aluminum foil, toss it, and you basically have no mess. Okay, just put like a drop of salt in. I usually use kosher salt for my cooking. Think from my early days of watching the Food Network and Ina Garten, who is my favorite personality on TV, I got the idea of using kosher salt for all my cooking. Okay, now, just have to make sure that your cutlets are really oiled up. Okay, and then sort of drizzle the leftover off and now in, into the cornflakes crumbs. Now my son Benji absolutely loves them doused, coated in these crumbs. So I have to do it the way that I really do it, which is like this. Because otherwise, if they don't, if these cutlets don't have enough crumbs on them, Benji will complain. I'll say these don't really taste like as good as they usually do. So that's why I've got to do it with my hands. And I turn them over a few times, press down. Just gonna coat this just a tiny bit of oil. Move it around with my hands to ensure that the bottom of the cutlets get really gets really crunchy. Get really crunchy because I don't turn them in the middle of the cooking. The cooking is really fast. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna fit as many as possible on this pan. Hopefully I'll get them all on. If not, I'll have to take out another pan.
So someone who's really neat is gonna do the whole thing with the fork, but I don't do that. I'm more concerned about how the food tastes than about being neat while I'm doing the cooking. I do whatever it takes to make sure that the food tastes amazing. I have to press them down. Okay, there we go. Turn around a couple times in the oil. When my son was little, I would pick him up from his nursery school and he'd come home and I, I still have the vision in my head of him being downstairs in the family room and watching this, one of his favorite cartoons at the time, which was called David the Gnome. And I would say, do you want me to bring you some chicken with the crumbs? And he'd say, yes. So then I would, I, have, I cook the chicken and I cut up pe it in pieces for him and I'd bring it down to him so he could watch his TV show and eat his favorite chicken with the crumbs. I probably made this three times a week when my kids were little because it was so easy to do and because two of my three kids really loved it. My daughter I think the reason why she, Randy didn't like it that much was she just didn't like meat very much at all. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need more crumbs, so soon I'll have to pour some more crumbs into the pan. So if I were just making like, um, I don't know, like maybe four or five cutlets, I'd almost be done. But because I'm making enough for about seven people. I have a lot of chicken here. I'm gonna pour some more in. This is taking a lot longer than normal. When I was a little girl, my mother made this recipe, but she made it with whole chicken pieces. So she would buy a whole chicken, cut up into eighths, and she would make the chicken this way. And I loved it, I was a huge fan. So when I had kids of my own, it was natural for me to wanna to make that recipe. But my own kids didn't seem to like eating chicken on the bone. So I adapted the recipe and just started using the cutlets. Okay, soon this is going to go in the oven and it will go in at about 400 degrees for about... 20, 25 minutes. If you wanna cook the chicken even faster, you could put the oven on about 425 degrees and you could be done in about 18 minutes. But I usually put it on 400 for about, I'd say 25 minutes. In our family, we like our chicken to be more on the well done side. So, sometimes I add a few minutes extra to the cooking, even if I'm saying it's about 20 to 25 minutes. At the end, when I look at the chicken, I usually make a decision to cook it for another five minutes or so. Now, when I'm done, I'm just going to show you how to do this with this last cutlet. And I'm going to show you how I actually just drizzle it with a tiny bit more oil to make sure that the chicken cutlets taste fried and really, really crispy. So what I do, I just put a little oil in the cap. And 
and I just drizzle it over. Doesn't have to be covering it because there's enough oil from when you originally coated it in the oil. And that's it. And that's the recipe. And then you just put this into your oven, into your hot oven, and that is it. When it comes out, you'll see exactly how delicious it looks. All right, I think it's done. did a good job. <laughs> now we should let it cool. Excited to eat after a long day of working. But it'll be very hot. But it's good when it's fresh. So I want to try it while it's very hot. Mmm. So delicious. Bye bye.